Hi, my name is Mike. My name is Jack Hang. Today we will explain how to solve question number eight in our computer-based assignment. This question is about post-grad approximation. It's the last chapter of simulation. The concept of post-grad approximation is applying random sampling with refreshment and it's fell under the broader cast of resampling methods. In this question, the sample given is the number of claiming occurring of five randomly chosen days, which are two, zero, four, five, and seven. There are also 25 resampling sample simulated from the original sample. You can see that some of them are repeating with each sample. For example, for sample one, they repeat on zero. 202 and there are a lot more in the following sample but where should we start to solve the question as we have understood how post bootstrap which approximation works the solution is easy firstly we will figure out what are need to find in this case it is the mean square area of the estimation the estimator is the probability for of there that the number of plans are lesser or equal to 4. We have 2, 0, 4 in the given sample. Or rather, we need to find out the probability for each sample that fulfill the estimator that we want. That means for the example for the sample given, the probability is 0 0.6 as only 3 days fulfill the requirement of the estimator. The probability of each day is equally distributed with which is 0 0.2. For rest of the sample, we just have to find out their probability. However, finding that one by one takes a lot of time and it is really less efficient. So to do it quicker, we can use a built-in function in Excel. It can help to solve our question. Just type in equal count if and select column two to column six for the first parameter and filter out that uh, observations that are less than or equal to four. Then divide the number of observations, but which is five. We use the count function to calculate the total observations for each day. The result here shows 0 0.8 for sample one. We can get all the result easily but remember to lock the second parameter before we use the auto lock auto fill function in the next step we will have to find out the mean square error of the estimator which is required in the question the formula for the mean square error is as how it is named which is the difference between the mean and the estimator based on the sample of n items then we square it to find the expected value in this case, the mean is the probability that we found for the sample given, which is 0 0.6. What we need to get is the expected value. We also need the probability for each result. The probability for each result is 1 over 25, as there are 25 samples generated, and they are equally distributed. Once we understand the concept, we can let Excel do the work for us. Firstly, change the estimator to minus the mean, which is 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6 for sample one, then we square the result. Then we take the probability, which is 1 over 25, to multiply with the sum of the result. The mean squared error is the sum of all results. Thank you.